Hello, my dear student. Today I am going to discuss about total formula which are needed for paper one. Energy transferred equal to current into voltage into time. Here E equals to I into V into T. Again, power equals to current into voltage. So sometimes energy transferred E equal to power into time. Remember energy transfer, unit of energy transfer is joule, joule and current, current ampere, current ampere, voltage V and time in second. Then frequency, frequency equal to 1 divided by time period. So frequency F equals to 1 by T. Sometimes we also record T equals to 1 by F. That means time period equals to 1 by frequency. Unit of frequency is hertz. Hertz, HZ. Hertz means per second. Per second. And unit of Time period is second, second. Power, power equals to rate of change of work done. So rate of change of work done is known as power. So power equals to work done divided by time. Again, power equals to energy transfer divided by time. Remember work done equal to energy transferred energy transferred transferred energy transferred so w equals to e so sometimes we can write power equals to energy divided by time so power equals to you can write also uh, power equals to mgh gravitational potential energy divided by time or sometimes we can write kinetic energy divided by time so orbital speed equal to twice pi orbital radius divided by time period v equals to twice pi r r here r is the orbital orbital ra orbital radius and t is the time If this is the center of the planet and radius of the planet is r and height from the surface of the planet to the orbital orbital is h so remember r equal to capital R radius of the planet into height from the surface of the planet to center of the or, or the orbit orbit of the satellite then the final speed square equal to initial speed square plus 2 into acceleration into distance move so v square equal to u square plus 2as so again acceleration equal to v minus u divided by t final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time you can find the final velocity equal to u plus at so another formula distance s equal to v into t when the object moves with constant velocity then to find out the final uh, distance we can use v equals to u plus a t another formula is equal to u plus v divided by 2 into t that means average velocity 
initial velocity plus final velocity divided by time into t divided by 2 into t that means average velocity we can also write a is equal to ut initial velocity into time plus half a t squared then uh, pressure into volume equal to constant for a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature constant temperature volume is inversely proportional to pressure this is known as boyle's law boyle's law so volume is inversely proportional to pressure at constant t at constant t constant t t means temperature so this is known as boyle's law boyle's law boyle's law so the mathematical formula for boyle's law is p1 into v1 equals to p2 into v2 that means uh, initial pressure into initial volume equal to final pressure into final volume that means the product of pressure and volume remains constant at constant temperature according to the charles law charles law pressure is directly proportional to absolute temperature so pressure equal to constant into temperature so we can write pressure divided by time temperature equal to constant that means the ratio of pressure and temperature remains constant at fixed volume at fixed volume that's why uh, according to the charles law we can write uh, p1 by t1 equals to p2 by t2 where necessary assume that the acceleration of free fall equal to g 10 meter per second square again weight weight equal to weight equal to mass into gravitational field strength gravitational field strength field strength strength is small g so w equals to m into g again sometimes record uh, speed equal to distance moved divided by time taken time taken and average speed or average velocity average speed velocity average velocity equal to total distance distance divided by total time total time acceleration equal to change in velocity divided by time taken so a equal to v v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity divided by time for Fuse calculation, calculation I equals to power divided by voltage.
gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy gpe equal to m mass g gravitational field strength height and kinetic energy ke equal to half m v square half m v square and last formula for paper one efficiency equal to useful useful output energy energy divided by total input energy total input energy okay uh, some other formula needed uh, for uh, paper 1 uh, pressure uh, pressure p equals to force divided by area unit of pressure is pascal pa or newton per meter square because unit of uh, force is Newton and unit of area is meter square. That's why Newton per meter square. Sometimes force equal to mg mass into gravitational field strength is the area. And pressure for liquid, pressure for liquid equal to H rho rho is the density into g that means pressure pressure equal to depth of the liquid depth into density into gravitational field strength gravitational field strength field strength Moment equal to force into perpendicular distance from the pivot. If this one is the pivot, pivot and force applied here, force is applied here, so moment equal to force into perpendicular distance force into perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot this is the line of action of the force to the pivot so unit unit newton meter unit of moment is newton meter it is a vector quantity remember so Conservation uh, principle of moment, principle of moment for a balanced body or if an object is if an object is in equilibrium equilibrium total clockwise moment moment is equal to the total entity 
clockwise moment. Another thing voltage equal to current into resistance. So V equal to I into R. I into R. Another thing I equals to charge divided by time. Unit of current, unit of current is ampere. And unit of charge is coulomb and unit of time is second. So coulomb per second. This coulomb per second is also known as ampere. 